In the refugee camp, uh, we moved a lot, camp to camp. Some camps were a um, little bit much better than the other one. So the place I was born was the camp in Dadaab. Uh, yeah, it was okay. Uh, my dad was uh, the mayor of there, the camp, so he made a little bit of money to, you know, to live by comfortably. But when we um, moved to moved to the camp in uh, Kenya and place called the Kakuma, it was really hot there, and uh, lack of food, lack of water, a lot, and. Uh, um, my dad was working uh, construction working, so he builds house and he bathroom. You dig a hole, so every day we were worried that he's not, he's not gonna come home because once they do digging the hole, it will collapse. And so it's 50-50. So it was. Every day, the fear of Nahim coming back was, you know, running to our mind. So that's the way I knew. And uh, we didn't complain a lot. Then we understood the struggle that they're going through. They, um, there's uh, a camp. They like, they get food monthly, but it's not enough to stay by mm -hmm. the whole month. So you will be dead before the month ended. And um, Sometimes you you eat. Uh, it's not. It's like clay. It's not a like so, so, so like sand, but it's like more like clay. You have like taste, taste, uh, salty taste. Mm. You eat that one to just satisfy your hunger. There's no beds. There's no mattress. So it was only the floor with a blanket. Since I was born, I didn't see no mattress or nothing like that. Always, um, my, my parents have like a queen size bed, but it was made out of brick. It made out of brick and covered with a blanket. That's, That's the bed I know, yes. And me and my siblings will sleep on the floor.